Traders, I'm Adam Harris, Ambassador to FX Globe. Let's prepare for a bustling week by recapping last week's market movements. Last week, we saw the US ISM manufacturing PMI dipping slightly, signaling a slower than expected expansion in the manufacturing sector. The ADP non-farm employment change, however, did come in nice and strong and that boosted the US dollar. And then we got US unemployment claims, which were up slightly. So whilst the ISM services PMI surpassed expectations, just indicating a robust expansion in the services sector. Meanwhile, Canadian employment change data exceeded expectations giving the Canadian dollar a bit of a boost. US non-farm employment change indicated steady growth and unemployment rate remains stable. So by Friday's close, the US dollar had corrected substantially to the downside. Global indices and cryptos also closed lower, whilst crude oils managed to actually stay at the range, at the highs of the range. So what's on the agenda for this week looking ahead? Well, Tuesday brings the UK's claim and count change expected at $20,500, a significant jump from the previous minus 13000 So this could cause noticeable GBP fluctuations. And then Wednesday is a big day for the New Zealand dollar and for the Canadian dollar, the CAD, the Lumi. And uh, the Kiwi's official cash rate is expected to stay at 5.5%, whilst the CAD's over night rate might see a bump to 5%. So the US dollar's CPI data critical inflation indicator could also spur dollar movements. Thursday focuses on the pounds GDP month on month data and the dollar's core PPI and unemployment claims. Especially the US unemployment claims expected at 251,000 might create some ripples in the dollar pairs on that side. And finally, Friday will bring us the preliminary UOM consumer sentiment from the US. The markets could show further downside in equities and cryptos this week, whilst gold, crude oils, and major currencies would then rise against the US dollar. So stay informed and be ready for opportunities. I'm Adam for FX Globe. Let's make this week great, and I'll catch you in the next update.